hot peel, cold peel, warm peel, instant peel. When it comes to DTF printing, how you peel your transfer can really affect your workflow. Speed, finish, even overall look can all depend on picking the right film for the job. If you've heard any of these DTF film terms before and wondered what the right choice is, don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're navigating through all the different options, explaining what's what, so you can decide what's best for you. Let's peel this thing open. In direct-to-film printing, the film or peel method you choose impacts more than you think. It affects your production time, the feel of the final print, and even how vibrant those colors can appear. And here's something most people don't talk about. DTF film, also known as PT film, is coated in layers that control how ink is absorbed and how easily film releases once applied. Cold peel films will typically have more ink absorbing layer coatings, which can make this option usually a safe bet if you happen to be working with an unknown supplier, because they usually have more ink absorbing layer. While cold peel films may not release the easiest on the actual garment, due to that increased ink absorbing layer amount, these can still give a great result. Hot or instant peel films, on the other hand, will have much more release layer coating for faster production time during the application phase. Now, this can be a big benefit for high volume shops or those big orders. This is where we need to pay attention. Hot or instant peel films can carry less ink absorbing layer, and if you're not working with a supplier who produces consistent batches, this can be riskier. Now we've been fortunate enough to get an early test supply of the new Color Prime Quick Light V2, and this has been working wonderfully whether it's roll-to-roll -roll printing or throwing a sheet on my DTG for a one-off film transfer, the QuickLight V2 has been a top performer. And no matter what direct-to-film or direct-to-garment printer you're running, I'd highly recommend testing it out. Whatever route you go, whether it's hot, warm, instant, or quick, what you always wanna make sure of is that your supplier is handling material safety data sheets. This ensures that the consumables you're working with and your customers are wearing are all safe. Starting off with the cold peel. After pressing, you're going to want to let the garment cool completely before peeling. If we don't, we risk losing part of the transfer as the ink is still being released to the fabric. This doesn't mean go throw the shirt in the freezer. Simply continue production as normal, and after a few completed pieces, the first shirt is likely back to room temperature and ready to be peeled. Why choose cold peel? There are plenty of reasons to choose films in cold peel variety, as this type has been around the longest. For one, cold peel is usually more forgiving, which means there are less risk of transfer issues. Cold peel films also tend to have a glossier, vibrant finish since the ink has had some time to settle. This makes it the preferred choice for detailed or fine prints. Now, at the manufacturer level, all the major players have, or at some time, offered cold peel, since it's especially useful for high wear items like sports apparel or work uniforms. On the downside, since cold peel isn't the fastest, it may not be ideally suitable for high volume shops or wholesale quantity orders. That's where hot peel comes in. This method almost lets you remove the transfer right after pressing. Keyword being almost. Now, although hot peel films carry higher amounts of release layer coating when compared to cold peels, it still requires some time to rest. When applying these transfers, it's advised to wait three to five seconds before peeling or first rub the transfer with a blank t-shirt to try and dissipate some of that heat. Now, if we fail to perform either of these actions, once again, we do run the risk of transfer failure. So it's important to keep this in mind as we ramp up production with hot peel film. Now, why choose hot peel? If you're looking for faster production speeds and a clean workflow, hot peel could be the way to go. It's built for ink, so bold designs or large blocky graphics are no problem. And what's even better is having unique color profiles built for your film in the RIP software. This means the amount of ink being laid down is specifically formulated for that individual film and that printer's ink. And having all those elements on the same page is the best way to print designs accurately. Hot peels are also more forgiving in humid environments, which lowers the risk of moisture-related adhesion issues, something we might run into with cold peels. Overall, hot peel can be a great choice from a trusted manufacturer for live printing events or large batch orders. Now, a standout option I still use today is Color Prime Universal Film. For individual sheets on a DTG or roll to roll printing on a DTF machine, this is a great peel to consider. Now, let's talk about the Speed King Instant Peel. The least commonly found of the DTF print media, this is going to be the fastest method available. You literally press, lift, and peel in one smooth motion. Now, this material will have the highest amount of release layer, facilitating this quicker turnaround time. Have any of you ever tried a true instant peel direct-to-film transfer? 
Let us hear all your thoughts on the matter in the comment section down below. Why choose Instant Peel? This type of film we've really only seen from the more established companies who've been in apparel decoration for quite some time now. These brands have established a level of quality, which kind of makes sense why they're sort of leading the charge with this new latest film variety. Now, personally speaking, I really view Instant Peel as the current peak of PET film advancements. Not only does it reduce the risk of error, it also lowers the need for manual labor. This is great for business that have smaller teams but still need to meet high demands. Now, on the downside, this film can be a bit more expensive, so it's important to purchase from a good manufacturer. I personally had great results with the new Quick Glide V2 from Color Prime and highly recommend checking it out. If saving time in your production is a priority, it doesn't get any better than instant. Different peel types come with different films. At All American, we don't force one brand or product on the customer. We're proud to partner with a number of manufacturers whose values align with ours in terms of safety and quality. We also understand that printers and customers can get used to a certain consistency level, which is why we carry all the major players. It could be cold peel options from Kodak and STS inks, hot peel selections from EcoFree and DTF Station, or the new Instant Quick Glide V2 from Color Prime, and more. Whatever printer, workflow, speed, or detail, we've got to film the fits. So which peel is best for you? Let us know in the comment section down below and remember, it all comes down to your customers, your setup, and your efficiency needs. So what's been working and what hasn't? Drop all your questions down below and visit our website for more information. My name is Esteban, we're All Mega Print Supply. We'll see you in the next one.